Now let's look at the uh, topic 2 that is application of human resource information system. The previous topic we looked at what is human resource information system is all about. Now in this topic we are going to cover on which are the kind of major areas human resource information system will be applicable, how it is going to help the organization in taking a right kind of a decision making. Now if you look at the applications of human resource information system from the system point of view that is from the IT application point of view we can actually you know uh, classify this into three major stages or levels. The first one is a primary level. Primary level is nothing but for maintaining a record and for maintaining all this kind of you know employee related details. It's like an EDP function. It fun you know it works. It works like an EDP. When we talk about EDP, uh, electronic data you know processing. Through that actually you know we try to pass on the information, key in the data restricted the payroll and you know storing the basic details of an employee that's a way actually you know very very basic kind of a function it does that is a primary level. Second level is let's say HR manager or a top management wants to you know view about uh, uh, each employee details and position wise their salary details linking their salary with you know probably certain kind of welfare benefits and what is the cost uh, has been spent on that particular employee all this kind of you know report if they wanted to generate. So it's act as a kind of you know report generating tool like your MIS uh, stage also. It's a secondary level. It is intended to control the operation on budgeting part of it. Especially for a budgeting thing, it will be very very useful. And uh, basically, you know, it helps in increasing the report generation. And the third level is your you know uh, decision making level. Uh, that's your uh, tertiary level. It is actually you know capable of developing a decision on many strategic related issues. Let's say like you know you try to build a skill set of an employee by in the form of a competency mapping and uh, let's say we try to you know there is some opening coming up in the organization automatically by clicking the decision support system itself the system itself will try to you know identify that what kind of an employee we can able to you know probably consider for that particular position that's the way competency mapping directly will suggest you some kind of an employee names through which you know we can able to take a call and for a future generation and then training you know future utilization and you know mapping of competency mapping of existing manpower training and development initiative what are the kind of a training and development has to be provided because time to time there will be a lot of different gaps must have been identified and each line manager must have filled in all the details in the HR uh, portal so that will help us in uh, planning the right kind of a training and development and suitable kind of a compensation package and other things and all we can able to you know work out very efficiently that's a way actually you know HRI has got a different kind of a stages of development. Now let's try to look at it actually you know which are the areas uh, human resource information system have been predominantly used primarily for record keeping of all the employee related details like your personal employee information both personal as well as professional details. So that's a way actually you know your CV act as a kind of an input for that and based on that we can build a complete database of an employee. That's one area what you call your employee master. Second one is you know wages and salaries. Uh, what kind of a salary and which are the pay components have been fixed and what is the salary level has been fixed and how is that you know what is the kind of welfare benefits all this thing we can maintain a separate kind of an you know record wise. So that's another major area. Third kind of an area is like succession planning. Your succession planning is nothing but uh, you know the currently the employee is in one particular job. What is his talent? What are the kind of you know skills that he has got? How he can be planned for a future kind of a job? What way he might be you know fit into that particular job? These are the ways actually you know if we try to map it, that's called it a uh, succession planning. And uh, the next the next one is the calculation of benefits. Uh, when we look at the calculation of benefits, whatever kind of welfare we, benefits we provide, how do we, you know, probably each employee can be get benefited out of it. So that's the way actually, you know, we can do it. And the next one is, you know, education and training and development areas. It will be very, very useful. And for maintaining an attendance record uh, monthly wise for per employee, it will be very useful. And uh, when we do a performance appraisal, this particular, you know, human resource information system is very, very applicable. And ultimately, you know, strategic uh, HR planning, it will be very, very useful. So these are the kind of an areas uh, human resource information system is predominantly being used. Let's look at the full-fledged application of a human resource uh, information system. Uh, it all starts from the recruitment phase to probably until the performance of evaluation. So when we look at the recruitment, as we already discussed, uh, what are the kind of sources in which you know we are going to look at the recruitment 
and uh, what is the way we are going to you know probably recruit the people and then source the right kind of an you know candidate details and once that has been done the next level is your personal self services when we talk about personal self services employee will be given you know maintained with the hr portal and uh, each and every employee will be given their own user id and password and employee can log in any point in time and then they can check what is their leave balance and what is the kind of welfare benefits have been provided and all their records they can able to cross check time to time and the next one is actually you know leave related employee leave related and absence related details the entire utterance will be maintained and uh, every month salary and then pay slip and complete details about the salary will be maintained and a salary will be calculated based on this particular human resource information system and the people administration can be done as to what kind of a people what kind of a skill set what is the kind of a job it will be very very suitable and uh, the com entire compensation benefits the salary related details we can maintain and uh, the entire training uh, program has been conducted by the hr department and which are the employees participated and what are the kind of you know training effectiveness and how the you know future kind of a training requirement all these details we can maintain and ultimately you know performance uh, appraisal systems whatever kind of evaluation parameter and uh, how much is the scoring done by each employee and what is the kind of an you know area of improvement all this thing we can able to maintain through this uh, human resource information system now if you look at it this is the way actually human resource information system workflow happens it all start from the recruitment and then it goes completely on uh, you know overall uh, performance appraisal level it covers the entire thing and uh, it's self explanatory by looking at the diagram it, you know you can able to understand uh, quite easily and uh, let's look at what are the commercial kind of software available uh, in the market for uh, human resource information system very popular one is of course sap uh, sap hr and other than that your oracle hrm is uh, it's very popular and another one uh, software people soft it's another kind of you know software which is very very popular and other than that you know commercially there are a lot of softwares are available but uh, it is always to better to go for an you know uh, full fledged and robust kind of an application rather than looking at an very packaged kind of an you know product kind of a thing now let's try to look at what are the benefits of human resource information system by using a human resource information system we can save lot of time and uh, by click of the button we can able to get lot lot of reports second thing is we can save lot of cost uh, we don't need to you know manually maintain and then we don't need to probably employ more number of people and work reallocation we can do it very very effectively these are the major benefits at the same time it has got its own challenges also uh, if the management is not committed the lack of management commitment can be one of the challenge and uh, you know poorly done need analysis as to what are the kind of records has to be maintained and the per personal manpower planning all this thing can be a biggest challenge uh, because human resource information system system has got its own you know uh, disadvantage that means uh, the computer is computer based systems cannot you know look at the practicality of it only it is data based so that is one of the challenge third major challenge is failure to include key people uh, especially top management failure to keep project team intact and uh, because it's uh, you know different different locations and the politics and hidden agendas can be one of the major challenge uh, you know that will not be covered under this and failure to involve or consult a significant groups lack of communication bad timings these are all the major challenges of human resource information system